I was reduced to paintings by the uh, age of about five to six years. My mom tried to bring me some small paints from the market so I can try and put it on the canvas or a piece of paper. And that really encouraged me to do something about my life and my art. My name is Zigzag Zambian artist. I'm from Zambia. I was born in Osaka. And I'm an artist. I'm a painter. I'm a sculptor. I'm an abstract. What got me into art was uh, seeing the struggles of my mother going to the market to try and survive and bring food for us as a queen of a castle on the table. Yeah, and bringing me some small paints and brushes. It made me encouraged. Certified gangsters with a license to kill, like dead murderers that will take your free will. Gangsters in suits. Killing our youths, old people talking, young people dying, and they call it politics. Wake up, zigzag there, drop, drop up, remove. Art has kept me away from prisons, from being uh, dragged, yeah, abuse, or stuff like that. It has just made me focus and concentrate on my life. Made me become uh, realize how to take care of my community and my family around me and the friends that I have. So, art is something that is about my life. Yo, man, what well going on? I'm having an exhibition and come and show you around. Most of the message I hope to convey through my, pens, my paintings and the impact I'm trying to give through my paintings is to people to realize that Africa is not what they think it is on TV. So I'm painting Zambia, I'm painting Africa, I'm painting children of Africa, I'm painting people from Africa. I'm painting a woman called uh, Uma Joy. It's like, uh, it looks like a happy, happy voodoo -ish. women with a lot of joy, but still weird and strange and, uh, and a lot of voodoo in her and uh, trying to accomplish some happiness at the same time. So I try to see if I can make her look with a tongue. Uh, these are more on lips right now. You see, these are lips. She has to look more joyful, but she's still like a modish woman. <laughs> Wherever you think African people are poor, there is still joy and happiness in it. And that's why you see in the paintings, it's full of creativity and happiness. Today it's about five people I cry just to sit here because of emotional feelings about this painting. And that's what art is supposed to do to human beings. It's supposed to be part of you. It's supposed to feel emotional, and you're supposed to be emotionally attached. It's a lady I saw in Africa. She was chilling and she was thinking, and they call her the thinking queen, the musician herself, the one that plays the jazz and the blues in a hard voice. When she took some nice shots, she could make the place go bam, 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 bam. You know, she rocked in the music. Dreams and the future of my career is to make a big art, uh, art uh, school and uh, try to educate the children, the future generation, into art and education, art, culture, dance, music, paint, and uh, color application, as much as I can. So I want to give what I know and what I have right now to the next generation, which is the children, because I see the children is the next future of our artistic world. So I don't want the AI to take over without painting. Paint has been there and that is so. If I can make that school and educate them and give them this piece of skill that I have, I think that would be a very, a very wonderful thing to do in this planet. The advice I can give to aspiring artists, the upcoming artists from all over the world, from Zambia, Europe, Norway, uh, Uganda, Cameroon, Congo, everywhere, is uh, live your dream. Dream is just a dream in your head and it becomes a thought when you think about it. Or when you paint it, it becomes reality. And you gotta leave it out. Let your dream become a reality. No matter what obstacles you face in your life, leave your dreams. France and Sweden ranked the highest for discrimination during the hiring process. They were followed by the UK, Canada, Belgium, and Norway.